So that surprise Nike sneakers release for the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 finally happened. It was during the Grammys. We got lucky. Let's check it out. What's going on? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube. And today, we're taking a closer look at this right here. It is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Dropped by surprise during the Grammys on Nike sneakers. And in this video, we're going to cover everything from resale prices, overall design, such as all the hidden details, the future of Jordan Brand and the Travis Scott partnership. Uh, before we get into that, just do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. And let's get moving. Yes, it's only February, but the hype around this shoe is pretty much insane. It's almost as high as Off-White Jordan 1. Finally, after months and months of teasing, Nike officially dropped the shoes. And as you guys know, they were a Nike sneakers exclusive, dropped completely by surprise and without notice during the Grammys. We'll talk about just how that release sort of happened, why people thought it was going to happen on another day. We'll also talk about the design of the Air Jordan 1 by Travis Scott, all the little hidden details, the obvious one being the huge reverse swoosh. But there's a lot of other little design cues that make this Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 pretty interesting. And of course, we'll talk about resale prices. Uh, these are one of the few shoes where there's a bit of a mayhem mania of you know buying and selling right as the drop happens. Finally, we'll touch on what we see in the future for this partnership. A lot of people expected Nike to do the surprise release during the Super Bowl. That's because Travis Scott performed at halftime. And just a year ago, Jordan Brand dropped the Air Jordan 3 JTH during Justin Timberlake's halftime show. That sort of set the table for people to kind of be on the sneakers app during the Super Bowl. Of course, as you guys know, nothing happened. People were a little upset. And so just one week later during the Grammys, Travis Scott performed again. He was nominated for a lot of different things, didn't win anything unfortunately, but he did perform live and roughly about 40 minutes or so after Travis's performance, Nike sneakers, Air Jordan 1, quick drop, in and out. People are going crazy on Twitter. Some people got lucky, most of us didn't. Of course, that doesn't close the door on future releases and we anticipate another Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 surprise release either to happen maybe during All-Star Weekend, uh, maybe later during April. Travis Scott is still touring, so there's still opportunities for Jordan Brand to release the shoe to the masses. And some people were surprised that it dropped during the Grammy. Some people were very prepared. Of course, if you guys were tuning into sneakernews.com and pretty much sneaker Twitter and sneaker social media at the time, the official brand images of that shoe did emerge. So some people also kind of put two and two together and thought, all right, a sneakers release is gonna happen. That covers the release part. Let's talk about resale. So already the shoes technically didn't drop yet. People were paying upwards of $2,000 for a pair of shoes. Now that the shoes officially dropped, that price kind of went down just a little bit, but it's still in the thousands range. This is a shoe that you probably will not be able to buy for under $1,000 on the resale market. Even right now, if you wanted to buy a pair, of course, you can go online and spend you know $1,500 to $2,000 to get a pair, but just be a little bit patient. There's still another chance to cop at retail or when the prices may go down. Let's talk about the design. So again, we have an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The model really needs no introduction, but of course there are a lot of little details. Let's start with stuff related to Cactus Jack. There's a Cactus Jack logo right here in the upper. It's a white film above the white leather part. Some people were pretty stoked that it was like a hidden little detail. Even going to heel, another Cactus Jack sort of mascot, you know, basically the round face. As well as on the insole, you have the opposing Nike Air as well as the Cactus Jack logo. The tongue, you have the classic white nylon to match the toe box. You have the red Nike Air logo branding. And also there's extra Travis Scott branding right here in the tongue as well. Colorway itself is very muted. Dark browns, white, black, and tans. And you even saw the Air Jordan 1 low that Travis revealed. Also, you know, dark colors, dark browns, relating to that Texas desert, I guess. The big thing about this shoe is a huge reverse swoosh that's on the upper. Jordan brand definitely opened the doors for customization for the Air Jordan 1. You know, you saw Virgil Abloh completely rework the Air Jordan 1, and those three colorways, you know, are considered to be one of the best drops of the last decade. Moving on to even Nigel Sylvester, who like pre-yellowed the shoe, made it look very worn in, added a little mini swoosh. And then Union Los Angeles, they kind of created this chopped and screwed vintage style Air Jordan 1 and now you have Travis with this giant reverse swoosh. It is such a rebellious sort of way to kind of brand the shoe. So another interesting detail is that the ankle collar, the construction is different because there's like a hidden pocket that you can stash notes to your mother, I guess, or other things. <laughs> but I'll leave that up to you guys. And you know, that's pretty much it. Officially released on Sunday, February the 10th during the Grammys. A future release date is currently unknown, but of course, check the links below if you need to learn more. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.